I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. What is truth? God cannot be pinned down, but God's actions in the world can be pinned down, and we need to pin it down to a particular time and a particular place in history. And that's what Pontius Pilate is doing for us here in the Creed. Stories grow up around famous characters as time goes by. For example, Alexander the Great started life as a very young prince in a small Greek state, yet he defeated the mighty Persian army and he conquered vast territories from Europe to India by the time he was 26. All sorts of stories grew up around him, especially during the Middle Ages, so that the truth about the man himself has almost been lost. Jesus is far more famous than Alexander. All sorts of stories grew up about Jesus. So from the very beginning, the facts of who Jesus was and what he did and where and when had to be guarded and protected from the storytellers. You only have to look at the surviving fragments of what are called the apocryphal gospels to see how he attracts the myths. There are writings called the Gospel of James and the infancy Gospel of Thomas and many others that have never been included as books in the Bible. But when we state our belief that Jesus was crucified under Pontius Pilate, we are pinning down that, that historical fact to a particular time and place. There are good reasons for using a Roman official to do the pinning down. Rome was the legitimate local authority and crucifixion was a legal act. It was carried out by the duly constituted authorities as a result of due process of law. Pontius Pilate provides us with a definite time and place for the crucifixion. He was the prefect of Judea from 26 to 36 AD. In the Passion narrative of St. John, Jesus says that he has come to bear witness to the truth. And Pilate replies, what is truth? At the time of his meeting with Jesus, Pilate had spent years in a region where matters of religion were at least as important as getting enough to eat, sometimes more so. He has had to hear about or even listen to any number of characters stirring up trouble and claiming to possess the truth. Now he has come face to face with a man who has nothing to mark him outwardly as someone special, but who nevertheless has more authority about him than anyone else he has ever met. On meeting someone who carries this authority with him and who can make the most amazing claims such as that about kingship in such a matter of fact way that he is clearly making a statement. He is not boasting so nothing could be more natural than to ask him for the answer to the question, what is truth? <laughs>